Jeremiah 23, verse 24. Jeremiah 23, verse 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fear the heaven and the earth, saith the Lord. This is what God is asking. Is it possible for you to hide from God? Is it really possible for you to hide from your maker? That's, that's what this passage is saying. Again, I said the message may be a little hard, but it's because God loves you and wants you to retrace your step to the right path. So let's take a few points from this passage. Number one, nothing is hidden from the Lord. Nothing is hidden from the Lord. I know that there are many people here today and are joining us all over the world. That there are things you have been doing secretly, thinking that nobody knows. Thank God you are hearing this message. Everything is known unto the Almighty. That's why I say, do I not fear the heaven and the earth? See the Lord. I pray one more time. Whatever it is you have been doing secretly that is not right before God, today you will lay them down in the mighty name of Jesus. God hears every word you utter. Every word that you utter, he hears it all. Say, Pastor, is that true? Yes, it is true. Every word that comes out of your mouth, God hears it all. And everything that you do, he sees it all. He sees it all. There is a reason why you are hearing this sermon. Because those things you have been doing secretly, the love of God has found you this morning to warn you ahead of time. So that 2022 will end well for you in Jesus' name. Your spirit is the candle of God. The reason why you can't hide from God is because the, the way God is monitoring you is through your own spirit. God is monitoring you through you. Let's open to Proverbs 20 verse 27. Proverbs 20 verse 27. The spirit of man is a candle of the Lord. So there is nothing that you are doing that your spirit is not recording and transmitting to God. I pray one more time for you. Everything you think you have been getting away with that nobody knows, today you will surrender them all in the mighty name of Jesus.